good morning thank you so much for watching the replay welcome to story time I'm so excited to see you seriously so excited to see you good morning we are on a little earlier than usual today I'm gonna tell you why thank you so much for coming on do I have a story for you today do I have a story for you today thank you so much for coming on let's go ahead Let's get started because it's gonna be popping today. Hey, Melanie, good to see you. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited, good morning. I'm excited about today. Today is an awesome day. So go ahead and share the broadcast. They see, I don't even have to tell her anymore. She knows exactly what to do. Thank you so much for sharing the, the broadcast. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And she, and she typed hashtag shared. Awesome. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, good morning. Good to see you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. So welcome to story time. Hey, uh, Lisa, Lady, Lady Lyle, Ricardo. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming on. Welcome to story time. Tanika, good morning. Kiki, good morning. You know that sharing is caring. So as you come in, let people know that story time is early today. What is going on? Good morning. Story time is on early. I'm going to tell you why it's on early and we're going to get on with it because I got places to go people to see hello thank you for sharing kiki really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you so good to see you guys welcome have you noticed something different is the hair kind of big today is that did you notice that good morning the hair is bigger i'm dressed a little more dignified today got myself together this morning more so than usual because i'm gonna be featured over the girl power ignite page at 11 a.m eastern time you gotta go watch it i'll be talking about how i got started how i keep my business popping and how i got it to the place that it is today so you don't want to miss that's like a bonus story time it's like a bonus story time so don't miss it for a hot minute do not miss it thank you so much for coming on today whether you're watching live or the replay i'm gonna help you get your life together today especially if you're having a hard time believing the calling I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you with that and then how to turn it around. How does that sound? Give me a thumbs up if that sounds good because we're going to get started right away. Thank you so much for coming on. My name is Catherine Storing, Minister Catherine Storing, Teacher Catherine Storing, Preacher Catherine Storing, Writer Catherine Storing, Your Writing Mama Catherine Storing. I am all those things at the same time. Good morning, Pam. And I don't choose if I'm going to be a speaker today, a coach tomorrow. I can do all those things at the same time, literally all of that stuff I do at the same time because God says I don't have to choose and I don't need to and also I don't want to, okay? I don't want to choose. So that's what I do. I am the creator of the Writing Made Simple Academy. Right now we are on open enrollment. The videos that are coming today, if you're a member of the Academy, there are two videos coming today, two preview ones. They're going to bless your whole entire life. They're super short, super easy. Not a big deal because we haven't really started yet, but I'm going to give you some work to get yourself started, if that makes sense. So if you're not a member of the Academy, I don't really know what you're waiting for. It's amazing and a half. The web, the uh, the Facebook group is already going. People are still joining in. Some of them have not even re uh, accepted their invitation to come on, but that's okay. The Writing Made Simple Academy is here for it, is here for it. So you do not want to miss that the writing made simple academy give me a thumbs up if you have shared the broadcast i haven't shared my own broadcast yet but i will so do me a favor share the broadcast right now because somebody needs this somebody needs this like now so go ahead and share i'm gonna go ahead and share my own broadcast thank you so much for you guys that already did it but if you haven't go ahead and do it because people need to know what's going on like why am i feeling this way thank you so much really appreciate that why am i feeling this way what is going on? I'm going to tell you what's going on. Thank you for sharing, Pam. Really appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and share inside the group, Writing Made Simple, so they don't miss it. Then I'm going to share it to my page so they also don't miss it. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and share that. And we're going to get started, okay? I told you who I am. I told you what I do. We are going to keep it moving today. We're going to keep it moving today for sure thank you so much for coming on this is story time when i come on every day i give you a story and then i give you a practical application of how to apply that to your life how does that sound that is story time it happens every day we are earlier on today because i'm gonna be featured over the power ignite page power ignite page and you don't want to miss that. the girl 
power in nine page yeah don't miss that it's gonna be amazing i'm gonna be sharing the link a couple times so you can come watch it and find out how i was able to do what i do from corporate america to doing what i what i love and enjoy very much all right give me a thumbs up if you're ready for story time give me a thumbs up if you're ready because you can tell i'm ready 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 for story time okay so i said 10 15 we're about to get started good morning robin you got here at the nick of time thank you for the thumbs up thank you so very much as you come in if you haven't invited your friends sharing is caring if you have a friend a specific friend that needs this tag them type the the symbol at in their name and they will be invited watch it now or watching the replay it doesn't matter. They'll get it and they'll understand why they're feeling yucky, why they're feeling the way they're feeling and they don't know what's going on. I'm going to tell you what's going on because it is needed. It is so needed. It's not even funny. Thank you for tapping on the screen. Interacting is always appreciated. It always helps because it lets other people know, hey, we got to watch this video. This video is good. Okay. Awesome. Let's get started with story time. So I've been doing a lot of live streams for the last um, weeks, months. I've been really on it like a bonnet, listening to everybody speak, see their questions, how they're showing up. I've been spying on my students' social media accounts. I don't know if you, you know, see me lur uh, lur uh, lurking and, and, and paying attention and commenting and doing all of that stuff. Okay. I've been doing all of that. So as I look at the pages, as I look at the questions, especially since yesterday's broadcast, I did an amazing broadcast last night. You definitely want to go watch that. It will bless your whole entire life. But as I listen to people, I realize that many of the ones that I've been hearing have a book inside of them, but they don't know how to go about it. But not only do they don't know how to go about it, they don't believe that they can do it. They believe they're called to write the book but they don't know that they can do it and they don't know how to do it. This is, this is it's a tough combination when God is calling you to do something and you don't believe that you can do it and, and you don't know how to do it. That is the lethal, lethal combination. They don't know how to do it and they don't know that they can do it. And when you show up in that, when you show up in that way, when you show up in a way that says, listen, I don't know that I know God is calling me. I heard him loud and clear. Give me a thumbs up if you know God is calling you in this season. Just give me a thumbs up and say, Catherine, that's me. I'm called. I just don't know how to do it, but I believe that he called me and I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I know that I'm called. It's okay to say, I don't know. It's okay to say, I know for a fact that I'm called. I know it. I heard it loud and clear. I'm not, <clears throat> I was not hallucinating. That actually happened. That actually happened. Thank you so much for coming on. So what I realized is that when we know, awesome, awesome. When we know that we are called, but we don't know how to do it, and we don't believe that we can do it, what we're saying is, I need to have all the pieces of the puzzle before I move forward. You get that? When we're saying, God, I know you call me, but I don't know how to do it. And I don't know if I can do it. What you're telling God is, I hear you. I understand what you want me to do. However, I don't know how to do it. And furthermore, I don't know if I can actually do it. I don't know if I can actually do it. And that is something that is plaguing a lot of people today and is not letting them move forward. It's just not happening, okay? It's just not happening. So we're going to talk about that today. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, Jessica, Robin, Lakeisha, Latoya, Daphne, good morning. Good to see you. Thank you for coming on. So you are called. Good morning, um, Elder Wanda. Good to see you. God bless you. You know you are called. You know you heard the calling, but you don't know how to do it, and you don't know if you can can do it. When you come in with that, in, with that attitude, when you take it in as I know that I'm called, I don't know what, I, what, I, what to do. And I, and I don't know if I can do it. Good morning. Again, what you're saying is God, I don't trust you enough to show me what to do and to tell me that I can do it. Okay. Let me give you a quick story. And then we'll, I'm going to give you the practical application. If you don't mind. When David was a youth, King David, before he was King David, he was just a pastor David, not even in a good way. He was just a shepherd David, okay? He was just a shepherd. But when he went to bring food to his brothers who were ungrateful and they were not nice to him, okay? Thank you for sharing. Really appreciate that. When he went to see them, he saw God's people huddling up, 
trying to figure out how do we defeat this giant, okay? And David's brothers were very tall. They were very strong. Saul was also very tall. He was very, very strong. He was like a giant. But then the... Um, <clears throat> But the, the the Philistine that that um, that David was gonna was gonna fight was was a very 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 big uh, Philistine, and he said, "I don't know that I can do it." He did not know that he could defeat Goliath, and he he gets to the camp, he gets to the camp, and he sees people cowering in their boots. Have you seen people being being afraid of what they need to do? Have you seen it like when they're speaking in public and you can hear their voice shaking? Have you heard somebody do that? Just say me. Say, Catherine, I heard people when they're speaking and they're really shaking. I can tell they're fidgeting with their clothes. They're moving too much or they're not moving at all. They are nervous. Okay. They are nervous. I have experienced that and it's so uncomfortable. It is so uncomfortable when I see it. So when David gets to the camp, he's like, what is going on? What is, why is this Philistine talking about God's people that way? Now, David was a youth. He was a little itty bitty guy. He was not very tall. He was cute. He had it going on, but he did not, he was not grown like all the men that were part of the, of God's, um, uh, army. Okay. But they're hearing the Philistine saying all these things. Goliath is taunting them. Goliath is saying all this nonsense. Okay. He's saying all kinds of things, all kinds of things. And then David said, Oh no, 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 no. This will not do. David did not say, listen to me. David did not say, how am I going to feed that giant? Can I defeat that giant? David didn't say that. He said, I am the son of the most high. God blesses me. I can kill lions. I can kill bears. This Philistine doesn't even know who he's messing with. I'm going to do something about it. I believe that I know how, and I believe that I can do it. So he says, why is this guy messing with God's people? Don't he know who you, we are? Doesn't he know who you are? And then his brothers are saying, back off, David. You got a big mouth. David, you're always talking like you know you're somebody. You are nobody. You are the youngest of the family. We are out here. We are trained. We know what we're doing. Why are you running your mouth? So type that for me. Running his mouth. David was running his mouth. Good morning, Ron. I good to see you. God bless you. We're talking about knowing who you are and knowing what your capabilities are because you know who you are. So David is running his mouth. The brothers are like, there you go again with always talking, always trying to show off. Go back to your sheep. Just go back. But David's like, listen, listen, this is completely unacceptable. I don't know why you guys think this is okay, but he is talking about God's people. And if he's talking about God's people, he's talking about God. And I will not let that happen. I will not let that happen. So as I was talking this morning um, and yesterday, last night, talking to a friend, I said, when the enemy comes and lies to you and tells you that you cannot do what you have been called to do, you have to call the enemy a liar and a cheater. You have to say you are a liar. You are a big fat liar. Why are you talking about my God like that? Good morning, Nicole. Thank you so much for sharing. Really appreciate that. Why are you talking about my God like that? Because when you talk about my, me, I am his creation. I am his creation. You better say that Daphne. I am his creation. So if you're talking about me, you're talking about the creator and that would just not do. But what many of us do, let me know if I'm lying. What many of us do when the enemy comes and tells you that you're not strong enough, you say, you know what? You're right. That's what we do. The enemy comes and gets in your face, gets up all up in your business. And you say, you know what? I don't know what I was thinking. Who, who do I think I am? And then when the enemy tells you, are you sure that God called you? You're like, you know what? I had indigestion that night. Maybe he didn't call me. Maybe, maybe I misunderstood. Maybe I did not hear it right. Instead of saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold the phone, hold the phone. What did you just say? What did you just say about me? 
you got to get to a point where you take it personal. You got to get to a point when the enemy comes and lies to you and tell you this is the way your life is always going to be. If you're making plans, you're making plans for your life and you're like, this is the way it's always going to be in the moment. Type that for me. In the moment, you got to say, wait a minute. That is not what my father says about me. I got to go and remember. I got to go and remind myself. I got to search within my heart and remember what God says about me. Don't just accept it. Don't just accept that it's true in that moment, Melanie. We got to say, wait a minute. That doesn't sound like the way my father talks to me. If it's bringing me down, it doesn't sound like the way my father talks to me. If it's messing with my mind, that doesn't sound like the way my daddy talks about me. God's um, love language is words of affirmation. I believe that if God were to read the book, the five love languages, I believe that God's, well, one of God's, um, I think a couple of God's love languages is um, quality time and words of affirmation. That's what I believe because I read that in the Bible. He says that he delights in spending time with us and he always tells us that we are more than conquerors, that we are the head and not the tail, that he has amazing plan for us. So when a thought when a thought comes into your mind, that's what Romans is so powerful. Hold every thought captive. The moment a thought comes into your head and says, who do you think you are? You're making plans from 10 months from now when you cannot even take care of today. When that thought comes, you got to say, wait a minute. Type that for me. Wait a minute. Time out time out the moment that some nonsense enters your mind you gotta hold the phone you have to call the time out and you gotta say hold the presses we got to investigate wait a minute what did you just say because i don't think you said what i think you just said let me investigate and not stay there dwelling on all the reasons why that's true i need you to say wait a minute daphne wait a minute what? I'm making plans 10 months from now because the Bible says, I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. So if you're telling me that in 10 months time, I will not be able to do what I have set out to do, that it is in accordance with God plans, somebody's lying here and I know it's not God. Wait a minute, somebody's lying here and I know he ain't God because he's not a man that he shall lie. He is not a man that he shall lie. So you heard the calling. You know that he's faithful. You know that he says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So when those thoughts come to your mind, when you began to clean your house because you're moving, when you began to clean out your car because you're getting a new car and the enemy comes and says, you don't, girl, you don't even have the credit to get the car. You got to say, wait a minute. The, let, let's examine this. The Bible says that my God shall supply all my needs, all of them, not some of them, A-L-L, -L, all of them. Type it out for me. All of my needs, all of my needs. So he, if he's putting that desire in you to move to the next level, if he put that desire in you, how do I know? Because the Bible says that every good gift comes from him. That's what the Bible says. The one that I read anyway. I don't know about your Bible, but my Bible says that um, every good gift comes from him. Every good thing comes from him. So if I'm hearing that I cannot do it, hey, Ashley, good to see you. If I hear that I cannot do it, then that is a lie. The other day I was watching Pastor uh, Stephen Furtick and he was talking about the lizard brain. I never heard of the lizard brain. Type me if you have heard about the lizard brain. Never heard of it, but it makes sense. Never heard of it, but it makes so much sense. Sense. Hey, Ashley, the, he said that the, that the lizard brain tells you that you cannot do things. The lizard brain tells you that danger, danger, I got to get out. Whenever you put yourself outside of your comfort zone, you got to look it up, Daphne. It will bless your mind. Listen, when, 
when you are uh, you have heard of that Ashley I figure that you you have when you're doing reps this is what I heard when you're doing reps or you're doing something that is hard the lesser brain tells you quit you cannot do five more reps and reps is repetition okay if you're working out which is what I'm working on to get myself in top shape for the places that I'm going and the people that I have to bless and teach I know that I have to do reps and if the exercise says nine reps for whatever reason and I'm on rep five the lesser brain will tell you you got to stop at five because there's no way you're gonna do six and what we do is we tell the brain oh, okay you're right just type me if this is this is hitting home you have had those thoughts and you're like I'm supposed to be doing this I'm supposed to speak I know I get nervous and and the lesser brain comes and tells you girl what are you talking about you know that you get nervous talking one-on-one. -on -one. You think you're going to go to that conference and you're going to speak to that many people? You cannot do it. Go ahead and cancel. Go ahead and decline the invitation. That is the lizard brain lying to you, lying through his teeth, telling you that you cannot do it. That is a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie. Thank you for coming on. We are dead smack in the middle of story time. We are doing, we are doing the most today. And we're talking about why you're stuck. We're talking about why you think that you're not cold and because you don't know how to do it. And you don't, and you don't believe that you can do it. If you came in late and you haven't shared the broadcast, go ahead and share it because somebody needs to hear this. The lizard brain is a liar. If you know that you have been called to do something amazing with your life, if you know you are supposed to bless millions of people with your gifting, and I believe that you are because I am, if it's true for me, it's also true for you. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? So this is the time for you to tell the lizard brain, listen, I, I don't want to hear your lies anymore. You are running your mouth again in the worst way possible. You have got to stop. Let's go back to the story, if you don't mind. Good morning, Rosalind. There is David trying to negotiate. He's saying, why are all these people standing around when that Philistine is talking about God's people? We got to go and tell him who is boss. We got to go show him and say, why are you talking about my God like that? That is not okay. That is not the way it should go. Good morning, Amber. Good morning, Rosalind. Good morning, Antonio. Good to see you. God bless you. So David says, I'm going to go and I'm going to mess him up because you guys that have the, the, the swords, you have the, the shields, you are bigger than me. You are stronger than me. You're standing over here and you're letting that Philistine talk about my God like that. Listen, I know you think that's appropriate. I know you think that's okay, but where I come from, that is not okay. Anybody talks about my God, they're talking about, about me and they're going down. I don't need to know how I'm going to do it. I don't need to know if I can do it. I already know that I can do it. I don't need all those answers. I don't need all the pieces of the puzzle to know that I am sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Look that up. It will bless your whole entire life. This is time. This is the season for you to say, whenever the lizard brain, whenever the enemy comes and tries to lie to you, you have to tell them that doesn't sound right because my God's love language is words of affirmation. Okay, I'm not, I don't think I'm sinning by saying that because the whole Bible is words of affirmation. If God were to read that book today and I believe that he read it, he will say, my love languages are quality time and words of affirmation. So whenever you get a word from your brain, from somebody else, and it puts you down, whenever you hear something that goes against what God has said about you, you got to stop in the moment and say, listen, that don't sound right. Listen, I don't think what you are dropping is good for me. So I ain't gonna pick it up because it is not my portion. You have to arrest it in the moment. Don't say, well, you know what? I'll come back this later. I'll fight this thing out later. Listen, that's not what we're going to do. Bye Felicia, right? Bye Felicia. What are you trying to tell me? No, I don't. I don't think so. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. You are lying to me. You are lying to me. You know that you're cold. You have put together an amazing package. Listen, when I put together the revamped Writing Made Simple Academy, the enemy tried to tell me, girl, don't do that thing. Ain't nobody going to sign up. 
girl, you already did that. Don't even, don't even waste your time doing that. And I said, listen, I don't think that's true. I know that I'm called to help people. I know that's not true. I'm going to do it anyway. And it's going to do super duper well. And it's going to be amazing. Oh, hi, Alicia it's from your, from Boston. Hello. Welcome. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? That it comes a time in your life when you have to say that doesn't sound right. My father doesn't put me down. My father builds me up so I can give him all the glory. So whenever you hear that you cannot do something, you have to ask yourself, where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? Because it's not from a good place. It is not from a good place place. Thank you for coming up. Thank you for tapping. I really appreciate that. Don't stop. Do not stop. Hey, Jocelyn, good to see you. God bless you. There comes a time in your life where you have to fight your mind because the lesser brain is there to protect you. He wants to keep you safe, but he wants to keep you safe from even good stuff because the more I come out here, the more I share about the academy, the more I realize that people need it. The more I realize that this is not a, a nice to have, this is a necessity. A necessity. Cable is a nice to have. Food on the table is a necessity. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Good morning, Lawana. Good morning, Coach T. How are you? Good to see you. You got to get to a place where you say, I need to guard my mind. And every thought that doesn't push me forward, it pushes me down. Yes, he does feel us. He does adorn us with love. So we have to remember that if something puts me down and makes me feel bad about myself when I'm trying to do what God has called me to do, that is a lie. That is a lie. You got to exercise your brain. I said last night, your brain, my brain is my biggest muscle and I'm always working it out. I'm learning. I'm studying. I'm taking classes. I'm doing all kinds of things. Do you know why? Do you know why I'm doing that? Because this is the time. This is the time to do this thing. This is the time to do it. And I'm not going to let anything sabotage my, my, my progress. Are you with me? You cannot let anything sabotage your problem, especially when you say, I don't know how to do this. Well, if you don't know, ask. The Bible says, if you don't, if you don't know, ask. Ask and you shall receive. Do you know that in this season, I am in need of some things, some resources from different people. You know what I'm doing? I'm asking. I flat out asked you the day, how do I do that? I just asked. I'm not afraid to say that. Then with another person, I asked for something and I was not getting it. Lawana, I was not getting it and I went in my feelings. I got in my feelings because I had already given and I believe in giving and receiving. Can I get an amen? I believe in giving and receiving. So when that happened, I was going to stay in my feelings and say, no, we're not doing that. I'm going to go ahead and ask again and say, listen, I asked for that thing. I am demanding that I received in return because I love that law of giving and receiving. I need to receive back. So you know what I did? I received, but I asked. I received because I asked. I didn't stay in my feelings and said, you know what? <clears throat> they didn't give me what I wanted. I worked for that. Um, we're supposed to have a deal. I did not get what I want. No, 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 no. That's not what you do. You go back and say, hey, we had a deal. We had a deal. Where is my stuff? I demanded. I want it. Show me the money. Show me the money. And guess what? I got it. I got it because I ask. So the, that's the first thing. You don't know what to do? Ask. Find out. Hire a coach. Read a book. Go to a workshop. Leave your house. Sometimes you're like, well, I don't know what to do. And you sit there and you're just like, well, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to stay here. Well, if you stay there, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What? I love that Daphne says, rephrase the request. Just ask for it again, flat out. Just say, uh, I am expecting this and I want it today. When do you want it? Don't be like, it will be great. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. It will be great. No, 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 no. I would like to have that by today at noon p.m. Eastern time. Thank you very much. Not 12.15, not 12.05, 12 p.m. Eastern time, Eastern Standard Time. Thank you very much as I flip my curls. Do you understand what I'm saying? That you need to do that so you don't know how to do it. You ask, you find out, you hire somebody. That's number one. Number two, pay attention. Number two, number two, you need to go back to the source and ask, you told me to do it. If you're calling me to do it, then you know that I can do it. That's it. 
If you're calling me to do it, it's because you believe that I can do it. It is that simple. Good morning, Latonia. Good to see you. God bless you. Good morning, Jarvis. Good to see you. God bless you. There comes a time, good morning, Danielle. There comes a time that you have to say, if you call me to do it, that means that you believe that I can do it. And since I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, that answers that. Everything encompasses everything. See how I did that? Everything. So if everything means everything, that means even this. So type that for me. Even this. Even this. Even this I can do. Even this I can do. Even this I can do. Good morning, Michael. Good to see you. God bless you. Even this I can do. Even this I can do. Whatever any other evidence that comes up, denied. Get yourself an imaginary stamp that says deny. This is going to be your symbol of deny. Just like that. Even this I can do. You saying that I cannot do it? Deny. I, I reject that. I don't receive that. That is a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie. So the moment that you do that, you win. What happened to David? He said, I can go because I have killed lions and I have killed bears. I will kill this Philistine. That's what he said. I will kill him. So he went, he got his stone, his stones. He ran for his life. He ran like, you better be afraid of me. Listen, that will preach right there. If you haven't read that, you got to go read that story. So David is running towards Goliath and he's running like a winner. He's running to win. He's running from a place of victory because he says if he came against my God and I'm his creation and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me then you better believe that if I go against his Philistine that is really bigger than me then you know what he's going down because I'm coming from a place of victory have you seen runners and you can tell they're gonna win because their stride is it's confident have you seen people run and you're like that person is going places because they're not looking left they're not looking right they're not fidgeting with their clothes they have their eye on the prize they have their eye on the end result they have their eye to where they want to go and they're not going to stop until they get there they're not going to stop until they get there do you understand what i'm saying so david ran he threw one stone one that's awesome, Daphne. Good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, Molly. Hey, Gregory. You got to stop saying you cannot do something. You have to stop saying it's too hard for me. You have to stop saying nobody's going to buy that. You have to stop saying nobody's going to say yes. I had conversations yesterday and you should have seen me. I was getting yeses left and right. But when I showed up to the call, I already had the biggest yes. I gave myself a yes. Are you with me? I gave myself the biggest yes. I say yes to what I'm doing. I say yes to myself. I say yes to what I'm called to do. I just kept saying yes. So when I showed up, the answer was yes and amen. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Good morning, Molly. Good morning, Nikki. Do you get that? That I'm showing up in a different way. My attitude is different. I have that feature at 11 today. How I'm showing up. I got the hair bigger today. I just teased it up with, with, with my pick. I put the makeup. It's a little heavier today. It's just a little more on point. I got a dress on and what? Why am I showing up like that? Because it's already a success. I'm showing up like that because I'm expecting that feature to open doors for me and I have to look all kinds of fine because I don't know who's watching that. I don't know who has to connect with TVN, a regular TV station, a radio station. I don't know who's looking for a speaker that is dynamic and it's powerful and it's a kingdom speaker. I don't know who's watching. So I have to show up from that place of winning. Does that make sense? I got to show up knowing that not only would I be able to do well, but that I can do it because that's what the Bible says. That's what God says about me. So if you're thinking, Catherine, I know you have talking about the Academy. I know that you're going on all the time and saying how good it is. And I know that you're good because I seen your receipts. I seen your students. I see how well they're doing, but I don't know if it is for me. That is a lie. That is a lie. 
That is a lie. If you know you are called to do this thing, you are called to write a story and you've been trying by yourself for the longest time. You've been trying all by yourself and it's not working. It's not working. Why will you continue to do something that doesn't give you the result that you want? Why will you do that? Why will you do that? You got to get some help. I wasted 20 years of my life. I don't want you to do the same as I did. Gregory. I want people to get to a place. Hey, Jots, I want people to get to a place where they say, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know how to ask. I have a mouth. I know how to ask. I know how to ask because I'm serious about the thing that I say that I want. Can I do it? Yes, because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So when I believe that I'm launching something, whether the, it's the book that I launched, what, two weeks ago? Just two weeks ago, I launched that book, Teacher Easy. I did not ask myself, are people going to buy it? I didn't ask myself that. I did it because if God gave me the idea, I knew that I was, it was going to do, do well. And I knew that people were going to buy it. And guess what? People bought it. People bought it, but I created it. I create, I did not stay, I did not dwell in the, the, the coulda, woulda, shoulda's. I did not dwell in who's going to buy this book. It's an audio book. I'm going to, I'm, I'm pre-selling it. People don't even know what it's going to look like, but I'm, I'm going to sell it. Do you know that that is one of the best books, the best sales that I have had in a book before I did it? One of the, I, I'm on book number 20 right now. I'm working on book number 20 right now in this book that I just did that I did it on the fly, that I told people I got it from God on Sunday evening, Sunday in the middle of the night, and by Monday morning, I was pre-selling. I delivered the next five days, and people were blessed by that book. I did not stop to ask myself, can I do this? I went ahead and did it. That is faith.com right there, F-A-I-T-H, faith.com right there. I did not dwell in the can I do it. I did not dwell there. Good morning, Marianne. Good morning, Jolanda. I did not dwell in the, that I can do it. I didn't. Do you know what I did? I did it. Many of you want to do something and you, and you dwell in the, the I can do it. Well, you know, um, um, let me do the numbers. Let me just ask myself. Let me just write it down. Let me make a list. Let me do a pro and cons list. We ain't doing none of that. If God gave you the idea, you do it. That's it. And if you don't know how to do it, you ask for help and then you follow up until you get it. That's what you do because you're serious about that thing. So when I knew I was going to launch the academy again and I changed it up to help more people and I changed it up to make it more available to people, I did not stay there and thought, can I do this? Are people going to sign up? That's not what I did. I did it. I just did it. And people are signing up. Look at that. How funny is that? But I gave them a, a way to do it. I created the bucket. I created the bucket to do it. Are you with me? Stop saying you cannot do something. Stop looking at yourself. You're looking down when you're supposed to look up. I'm just trying to help you today. Good morning, Rosalind. I'm just trying to help you today. Stop looking down, meaning at what you can see. And stop looking at the resources that you have and look up. It is so much better to look up anyway and say, God, I'm here for it. Tell me, show me the people that I have to go with. Just show me it. Just show me it. So if you know you are called to do something, don't dwell in the, can I do it? Do not dwell in, will it work? Will it work? Because I don't know how to do it. Stop doing that. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you bought it and you liked it and you listened to it. Thank you so much. It's one of my favorite audiobooks that I've done. That book it blessed me. Can I tell you that? It blessed me. How quickly it came together. How he's blessing people to make money right away. It's thank you. I appreciate that. that that's a God-given thing. That's why I cannot take credit. I'm not even bragging because I didn't do it. God gave me every step. He gave me the title. He gave me the cover. He gave me everything. How to sell, how to pre-sell it, how to deliver it, all of that. And then I taught you how to do that in return. That is just amazing. That is just amazing. So if you know you're called to write a book, if you know that is what you're supposed to be doing in this season and you know that you know that you know you need to, you have to, you must join the academy. The academy is 
the best place for you to be for 12 months, the best place for you to be to get nurtured and learn exactly what you need to do. It is that simple. It is that simple. So what happened? Let's go back to the story real quick as I wrap up. David ran towards Goliath hit him on the head, the big ginormous giant that everybody was scared of went down hard. Then J David grabbed his sword and he cut his head off clean. That's what I'm talking about. David was, he was amazing. David is one of, he's one of my favorites because he was amazing. He just cut that head off clean and everybody, the Philistines started to run. They started to run and say, oh my God, these people are crazy. When God's army saw that, they began to chase the Philistines and David created a movement. David created and motivated people to move. Can I tell you that when you move forward and you do what you're supposed to be doing, it's going to be contagious. Can I tell you that? I think I just did. It's going to be contagious. It's going to be contagious. It's going to create um, a, a domino effect where other people get encouraged to do something. It is a domino effect. Are you with me? Do you want to be part of the domino effect? You, uh, me creating the academy, releasing it, letting people know about the academy, and then doing my best so people hear about it, so they, there's no excuse that they, they did not hear it. I do, I'm do. i doing a great job letting people know the academy is opening up. We're starting in September. You have until the 3rd to sign up. If you don't sign up by the 3rd, you are going to have to pay way more. That is just the way it is. So right now, when you join, it's only $99 a month. If you wait until September 4th, it's going to be $250 a month. Worth every penny though. Worth every, every penny. That's why you don't even have to worry about um, coming on the phone with me. It is a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. I did not want you to say, how am I going to do that, Catherine? No, no, no. It's simple. You know you need to write the book. You know you need time. You know that you don't know how to do it. You know that you're supposed to do it. Get in. That's it. Just get in. It is that simple. It is that simple. Don't stay in the I don't know. Don't stay in it's going to be too hard for me. It's not going to be hard. I promise. Because we're going to be together for an entire year. I'm going to be helping you every step of the way. We're having fun. There are two videos that are dropping inside the community today. Get excited for that. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. I'm telling you, it's something to be excited about. It's something to be excited about. Join the Academy. The link is pinned to the top of this broadcast, the Writing Made Simple Academy. It is the best decision you're ever going to make. It's going to bless your whole entire life. It's going to be awesome. But stop saying you cannot do it because you don't know how and can I do it? Yes, you can. And what we're going to be working on the most is your mindset, the, the mindset of a writer. What does that look like? What does that look like? The mindset of a writer. We're going to get in my head. I'm going to let you get in my head. I'm going to open up my brain and I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if you're very busy and you're like, Catherine, I want to do this thing, but I'm busy. This is the best time to do it because you're going to be able to watch the lessons on your own time. We're going to come together in the Facebook group. I'm going to answer your questions and it's just going to be amazing. It's just going to be so awesome. It's not even funny. So again, if you have any questions, post them here on this live stream. I will do my best to come back. I always come back and check everything that you guys post, that sharing the hearts. I love it all. I love it all. That story time, let me know if that spoke to you today as I drink. Let me know if this was exactly what you needed today. Ah, water with lemon is delicious. If this is what you needed because you have been fighting your mind, say me. Say, Catherine, I was fighting my mind today, but this right here helped me. This right here blessed me me. Awesome. Thank you, Ashley. Awesome. Awesome. Good, Lawana. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. Awesome. 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 This is the time, guys. Your mind is very powerful. Your mind, very powerful. Very powerful. So as you remember, I have given you until only this week. I, I extended it because I know it's a holiday weekend. I'm giving you that time as well so you can um, get into the academy. 
Yeah, watch the replay from the beginning, Lawana. Oh my God, I broke this thing down. I broke it down. How to how to how to win in the mind? How how to capture every thought captive? How how to get every cap, capture every thought captive? Basically, awesome, Elder Wanda. I would love to see you all of you on the academy. It's gonna be amazing. I'm just all I'm saying. And we start in September, but we are doing the the warm ups. Because warm-ups are important. Ashley knows all about warm-ups. So we're going to warm up, get you excited, get you all the resources that you need so you can be successful this time. You haven't been successful before. You will be successful this time. I got to go because I have that feature in seven minutes that I got to get ready. Of course, I'm always running on the edge. Thank you for watching. Remember that I'm rooting for you and that not knowing how to do it is not an excuse. Just ask for help and you'll get it. Watch the replay if you got here late. It will bless your whole entire life. I'll see you super duper soon.